Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I thought it would be fun to show you guys this completed sketchbook. I actually finished this about, I guess for you guys it will be like two days ago. And yeah, let's just get started and talk about the sketchbook and dive right into it. So the sketchbook was purchased from Lana J's online shop. I'll leave it the like in the description her Instagram or her Twitter or if the shop's still up, I'll leave the shop link in there. Um, so yeah, it's just a, I believe an eight by eight sketchbook and I put a Wanu sticker here. <laughs> so let's just go right into this. So here I have a bunch of my own stickers. There's a few that aren't mine, but yeah, just like to fill up the space in here. I'm going to fill in the date. So today, um, for me, it is January 23rd, 2020. Uh, I'll just put 20. So it's about just over four months with the sketchbook. And I'm just going to preface this video with that the sketchbook isn't like super duper exciting to look at. It's just a lot of my own drawings that are in like within my comfort zone so there's not like any of my realism stuff in here or any particular i guess like studies or anything a lot of it is oc's 17 doodles fire emblem doodles and kind of like ideations and like doodles and sketches for like projects so yeah so this is the first page um i did do a speed paint of this so this is of my oc masaki and i did it with pencil crayons and Crayola markers. Um, so this is the actual first page of the sketchbook. And so this is, I guess the second page physically, but I did the, like this and the first page after I decided to, like, I was really excited to start in the sketchbook and I wanted to record this for you guys. So I did skip it until I found a proper time to record it. So these were just requests um, from people on Instagram. And this was just done with my Staedtler fine liner and some Crayola markers. Here are a few more doodles. So we have Day 6 is J, Dogyam, Todoroki, human version of Bombongi with the same materials. Really cute. Here I have Koji, Bombongi, Brewster, and Dimitri. I still really like this one. So these were still more requests, even this one of Masaki. So this is Masaki for kind of like an RPG look. I'm not very um, well into RPG like designs and stuff, so this is very basic. Um, little doodle of, I believe, Wanu. I'm so sorry if it's hard for you guys to see. So here I have some sketches for a potential charm. I'll see if I can turn this down. So you guys can see some of the lighter sketches, just briefly. So there's like little pink sketches here of poses and stuff I wanted to do. This probably won't be a charm. I'm probably gonna make these maybe into individual stickers. Just more um, ideas, a little bit of brainstorming, a bit of math, <laughs> getting calculating some prices for standees and stuff. Turn back the brightness, other way. We'll leave it a little too dark, like this. Um, so here's Ignots from Fire Emblem. I really, really do love drawing Ignots. Um, I think I would say that Ash is my favorite character and like Dimitri, but maybe Ignots is like climbing the ladder really fast. But Ignots from pre-time skip, post-time skip. Yeah. Uh, here's one of Ash, one of Rolf. Some pencil doodles, so more stuff of Ash. This is for his birthday. One for, I guess, post time skip, pre time skip. Poses and messing with facial style, I guess, of different artists. So I was looking at like Kyoto Animation and how they do like male faces because I really do like the cute faces a little bit more, but I don't know if it fits Masaki as well. So I was trying to see if I could do it for Koji. A uh, little baseball pose. 
Here I have pencil crayon doodles of Wanu. So someone asked for me to draw Wanu in SpongeBob's outfit, um, which led to these doodles after. And he looks very much like a, a grape <laughs> because I always add sprouts on them. So I really like, like really, really like these. They're really cute and really soft looking. Uh, here's Maseki doodles and some planning for the front page or like the first page of my sketchbook so Markers and trying to figure out if I should lay the markers first and the pencil after or the opposite Really like this one. He looks really cute uh, Tried doing one for Koji and then one of Ignaut's and then I kind of stopped little doodle of Hansuke I believe this is supposed to be Dino and two of Wanu. Trying to figure out proportions for my OCs. So I tend to, like, at least I attempt to draw Masaki with wider shoulders and fairly thin waist. And then Masaki is very straight because he is a kid. He's definitely not like has a defined body or anything. And trying to figure out where he would um, land height wise compared to Masaki. Uh, more pencil crayon doodles. So this is kind of phase I was in. So I did one of Wonu, a little pencil um, doodle of Junghan, another one of Wonu. Uh, lovelies. So I was watching their cameo performance on I think Queendom, and I found their outfits super adorable. So Sujong and Jie, and then I was drawing or like sketching out Yen, and then didn't really like it, so kind of stopped. Here is Bombongi. So I actually really like the design I did for Bombongi. It's very simple and I only need two colors to bring with me. So I kind of doodle him a little bit often, except for the colors are a little bit different, but these are really cute. Actually really like, like some of these. Super cute, super simple. And the pink and blue looks really nice as a spread. Maybe it's just my carrot coming out, but like, I really like it. Really cute. Um, next is Ignaut's. So this is my favorite spread and I did a sketch with me with this spread so you guys can check that out if you're interested on how I did this spread. So yeah, just a bunch of Ignaut's. This is probably my favorite. Super adorable. His colors aren't accurate but I do like doing minimal palettes um, when I'm doing stuff with Crayola markers. Uh, so one of Marianne, one of Hilda, really quick doodles. And then I found my Staedtler fine liners or like Tri Plus fine liners or whatever they're called. I'll put it up in the description or something. Um, so I did one of Edelgard and Dimitri and Claude. I really like the one of Edelgard, but yeah. Oh, so yeah, they're Tri Plus fine liners and then I used some rollerball fine liners from Staedtler. So yeah, here are pencil and pencil crayon, crayon doodles. Um, so Min Kyun from Hinapia. So I really like the pose. I love drawing eyes in a stylized way. Like I've done realism a lot before, but um, doing them in a stylized way has always been fun. I really like simplifying it and just doing like certain details, even for like a stylized face. Um, some more pencil crayon doodles. So this one's a Pada's or Pada's eyes, and then this one's a uh, Minkyung. So, and these are both of Pada as well. I really like doing these. I like picking certain colors and just building up to do stuff rendered more realistically, but still like somewhat stylized. Playing with watercolor in the sketchbook. So I did Masaki and Koji. And I learned that one of my pens doesn't like to dry on top of watercolors, so I didn't do much in the spread, and then I stopped and just did pure ink and pencil here, just because the wait time's a little too long for this. I had to wait overnight for it to fully dry. But I actually really like how this came out. I think this paper still handles watercolor very, like, uniquely. So we have Koji with Hansuke. Um, Masaki with Koji. More doodles of Koji. I really don't like any of these except for this one. I think he looks really cute here. 
just a lot of things are off, like either facial wise or like size wise. His head's too big compared to his body. Just a lot of nitpicking. Uh, more stuff with Masaki and Koji. Mostly Koji and trying to find a way to draw him to make him look a little bit more like kiddish, a little bit younger. Uh, but he looks a little too sheepish, like sheepish here. <laughs> so here we have Koji. I should have used the reference for the pose because this looks very awkward. Um, another thing I miss doing is sketching something that's more technically drawn, I guess, and then using a technical pen and just doing the lines for it. I think they come out really nicely if you get proportionings right and stuff. So I feel like I should do more of these when I do studies so I can really grasp the form of some object. <laughs> outfits for Maseki. So this was just a plan that I was going to plan out different outfits for Maseki, but I only did one and I stopped. Um, here's another concept I would like to revisit. Uh, Maseki laying in kind of like peach or pinky rosy colored flowers and having that blue really or like this teal turquoise color really stand out. I really like this color combination though. Uh, so these are just little sketches. Just decided to draw my plush whale with something in front of it just for a little bit of a warm up and then kind of letting my brain barf out ideas for standees, which are on their way. So hopefully soon. And then here we have Wonu just in a really closed in kind of like a snow globe type of thing. I was really thinking about this concept a lot, like a snow globe, but kind of like a snow globe or a terrarium, but like there's no opening or anything, just them encased in glass. Looks really derpy. <laughs> but I like the colors for the most part. Uh, more watercolor and ink doodles. So I have Masaki, Koji, and how they sleep. So Masaki sleeps on his back, kind of just sprawled out a little bit <laughs> like that in his sleeping attire and then koji sleeps on his side usually with a plush and i guess in their world hansuke is kind of like the mascot um favorite character or like popular character for their world i guess so hansuke and then i have masaki and koji just chilling at the bottom here i have masaki flower doodles that I feel like I should do more of, but I've been doing them on my iPad. Um, and then another Masaki doodle right here. Oops. Here we have Wonu. So this is just Wonu and June. I guess there's only one of June, but I was just doing doodling Wonu and the colors aren't my favorite, but I had fun drawing him for the most part, especially this one. This is like the most awkward thing I've ever seen. <laughs> He's like, looks like he doesn't know what to do with his body. That's my fault. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. Just the way I drew their faces, I think looks really cute. So that's June and Wanu. Uh, watercolor with Masaki in the sketchbook. Mm, not my favorite. It was definitely fun to attempt to draw or paint more painterly in the sketchbook instead of just doing light washes but yeah masaki more masaki more of masaki i guess and then me trying to do different eye types for inking because i tend to default to a certain inking style and i'm just thinking it makes them automatically look like cuter and younger so i wanted to try something else i also did a sketch with me with this spread uh, which is mostly pencil crayons. There is a bit of fine liner and a little bit of marker here, but mostly pencil crayons. Some are really cute, some not so much. I like the color, I like, I guess, this side of the page a little bit more, minus this little apple we ish looking Wanu. Um, here uh, was part of the sketch with me actually, but I cut it out because I didn't like, like any of the three doodles I did here. So we have Chunghan, we have Wonu, and we have Bata from Hinapia. And then Wonu sketches, just Wonu as a gamer. <laughs> so Wonu getting a little bit ticked off. Uh, Wonu kind of celebrating that he won, and then Wonu dozing off. And S Coop saying, Wonu go to sleep on your bed. Little ear doodles. 
more Wonu drawing. I've been I feel like I've stopped drawing Wonu as much like in my normal anime-ish style. I feel like I should go back to it eventually when I figure out how I want to do stuff. So Wonu from the SVT debate night or lonely night, I guess they call it. Um, so we have Singguan, Singguan, Dogyam, and two of Jonghan. I really like this one. And I added stickers just to make the page have a little bit more interest and a little pop of color. Um, so I tried drawing Jonghan again, Koji right here, and then Masaki. I actually really like this and I would like to do a digital drawing of this with like minimal colors and just a lot of rendering with lines. I think it'll look really nice. Um, another one of Koji. And then me attempting to figure out um, sticker ideas for Seventeen Sphere. So this is a Mingyu. More planning, so doing a chibi version and then figuring out logo or like a sticker for the title track and then yeah, hand, petals, flowers, thinking that I was gonna go with this concept. So I added a little bit of color and me debating whether or not I was gonna do chibi or maybe do their headshots. But I think chibis is what I went for and they turned out kind of cute. Still think this turned out pretty cute compared to my actual stickers. Uh, Wanu with Singguan, just really quick sketch. Uh, Wanu and Jonghan, so yeah. Um, so this is the halfway point. Next we have Masaki Doodles, really awkward, like stiff pose again. But yeah, I kind of wanted to draw this one as well, with just him carrying a bunch of flowers that's like overflowing would be cute. Um, trying to figure out Masaki's body proportions again. A cuter version of Koji, which I think I'm gonna stick with. And then stylized version of Lovely's Jisoo. So another Wanu spread, so Wanu is a chibi right here. I love this outfit, it's just super duper cute and I actually really like using kind of like squares or these almost like pixely looking colors together. It looks really nice on the hair, it almost looks, um, I don't know how to explain it, but it looks really fun with like the colors overlapping and they're just kind of like geometric square shapes. So Wanu, Wanu again, and then two more of Wanu. Body proportions are definitely off right here. He's very, like, I didn't give him a hip area or like, um, yeah, hip. Like a hip and waist, I guess. Still think it's quite cute. Um, so more planning. I wanted to do another planner set where I did of uh, 17 based on their, I guess their company roleplay-ish kind of going 17 episode that they did and I was gonna do also cards for like their name tags. I don't know, just more planning. Me figuring out the male body again in a simplified way. I really need to study like anatomy correctly but I've been mostly doing it in um, like a simplified form. So I believe this one was with a reference. Or is it this one? One of these was with a reference and then this one is like what I've learned from these. And I just remembered that I always forgot about the the torso and the rib cage. So I often scrunched up the body, making it really like chunky and short, um, which isn't what I want when I draw males, I guess. Um, but yeah, so this was helping me figure that out. So taking what I've learned, and applying it to my Hoshi doodles. So you can see where I attempted to uh, make sure I know where the rib cage was. So Hoshi's um, doodles. I actually really like these ones. I think they're really cute. Um, so now we have Masaki, Koji, and Koji again. Koji's proportions, Masaki's proportions. Koji looks a little bit tall here. I think I need to shrink his torso a little bit more because um, he looks a little lengthy. I don't know, maybe if it's a 12 year old, 13 year old, how old Koji is. Um, pencil doodles, so of Wanu, Wanu with a whale, potential Shua um, illustration, which I didn't go with. Um, this has turned into a digital painting as well. So this Wanu with a book and kind of like plants or grass growing from him. This was from a draw this again challenge. 
not my favorite, but I actually really do love the colors here. Um, more doodles. So this is something I like to do a lot. So if I'm just given a pencil, I just like to render and then kind of figure out ideas. So as usual, Wanu with a four leaf clover, using it as an umbrella. Wanu gaming with a 17 switch. Wanu sleeping with kind of like the same idea as like the other one, like this one with plants growing around him. Uh, Wanu with a flower umbrella. I might want to change this. And then here I have Koji Doodles, which I actually really like these ones. Not so much this one. Definitely derped them like quite a bit. He's still a bit long, but I still think he looks really cute. I think I'm figuring out how to draw Koji in a way that I know I don't dislike him. Uh, more marker and pen doodles. So we have Dino, Vernon, and D8. Koji Doodles in his um, judo outfit. Looking up judo outfits and figuring out uh, a little bit of poses and stuff, but this is definitely very um, squished and his head is a little bit huge. So I tried correcting that with a mechanical pencil. Ah. <laughs> so here I have Jonghan that I was gonna do like a whole spread of just Jonghan doodles in this blue sweater because I found it really cute. But I had the urge to draw Zenitsu for some reason from Demon Slayer. So drawing Zenitsu, drawing him again. I actually really like this one. I might turn this one into a print if I can transfer it. This one's really derpy, but I really do like this one. Even though like, that's technically not his demeanor. Um, <clears throat> Tra drawing Giyu, trying to understand the pattern on his, um, like the one side of his outfit. Trying to draw Giyu again, and another one of Zenitsu. Uh, Masaki. Koji and Hansuke, and then Koji with Hansuke again. Um, yeah, I actually really like this one as well. I would like to do more drawings of Masaki where I actually finish a drawing. <laughs> Attempting gouache in the sketchbook with pen on top. And I don't dislike it, but it's definitely like gouache is something I need to practice, especially with like using colors. This is very difficult for myself to do that, but I'll attempt gouache another time. Uh, more concept sketches. So this one you guys probably saw me do on a live stream. So Wanu sitting in a moon. I definitely removed like cat ears and stuff. Practicing the little profiles that I would like for June and Wanu. Another one of Wanu with an umbrella. Thinking of June with an umbrella. And then these are the two standees that I'm going for and they're coming in the mail in like 10 days and I'm very happy. Um, so I could physically see them. But yeah, I did do two live streams of this, I believe. Or one live stream of this. You guys got to see me paint um, the majority of June's and then part of Wanu's, I believe. And then just Wanu sitting in a chair, sleeping. More Bombongi doodles. So yeah, Bombongi sitting on top of 17, like numbers. And then, yeah, just trying to figure out different ways to do the eyes. Defaulted back to how I usually draw his eyes, but I really think this looks really cute. Um, it says Go Chani, and he's watching the ISAC. And then another one of a chibi bombongi, and then another um, worried bombongi. Really cute. Ah, uh, okay. So. This is my new OC, Sato. So I don't think I've ever technically introduced her to the channel, um, but if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a lot of her changes, and I guess, and the idea for her. So she's gonna be the one of the employees of a sweet shop. So she's gonna be working as a, is it called a confectioner? Confectioner? Confectioner, maybe? Um, but yeah, she makes sweets. She likes chocolates and like, you know, pastries and all that jazz. Um, so I was just brainstorming hair ideas, which I hope you guys can't really see. Hair ideas for Sato. Sato means sugar in Japanese, so I thought that would be more fitting for her. Because initially I was going to call her Kuri, which means chestnut because of her hair color. 
and kind of like rough exterior, soft interior kind of thing. But Kuri was too close to Koji, so I decided to go with Sato instead. Um, but yeah, me figuring out her outfit, simplified chibi to figure out her outfit as well. A lot of notes about color palettes as well as outfit ideas. Um, and then I believe I did a quick doodle of her on Paint to the Side, and then I translated it to here so I could figure out what proper colors I want to use for her. So yeah, her main colors are this kind of, I don't know how you would describe this color, but this color with this kind of a brown. And yeah, for the most part, her design didn't change too much. I mostly changed her, um, her shirt, basically, her blouse to be a little bit more incorporate like incorporating more of this blue color into her shirt basically <laughs> so this isn't her final design but yeah figure out the back of her head side of her head side view from both angles just really trying to dive into making sure i can draw her more consistently and having to look back to the sketchbook uh, sato so i messed up here and decided to put a post-it note but i actually really like this um, Sato again. So this is just all of Sato. She really liked this. Marking down the colors I used for her. Really derpy one. Now, I'm disappointed in myself here because I do know how clothing works, especially if it's like hanging from something. In this case, it would be from her one leg to her knee. So it should have this weird like triangle dip in the center. But for some reason, I used the fine liner and made it look like she's wearing like really long pants i guess i don't know i'm disappointed that i didn't pick up on the fact that it should have been from this knee to here and making more of a scooping motion for a skirt but like that's kind of the whole point of me drawing sato um kind of get better at drawing girls as well as skirts and just like the body proportions of a female so another one of sato a little too thin uh, and then the back side of her. These were requests on Instagram, so I asked you guys to send me pictures of your OCs, and I just doodled a few. And then I got burnt out real fast, so I just decided to do the Okoji and Maseki in the end. Uh, so next is D8, Ignots and Ignots. So pre-time skip, post-time skip. And then just trying to figure out an archer pose, I guess. And then another one of Sato. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell about the sketchbook, but I'm feeling a really burnt out at the later half. And it'll happen after these D8 doodles, I guess. So D8 on the side here, if you guys can see, hopefully. <laughs> The one of him sitting, and then a few more that you guys would have saw from an Instagram or not Instagram. Actually, you probably would have saw this on Instagram as well in the stories. But I posted these to the community post, and a lot of you guys were interested in how I drew clothing folds and all that jazz. So, or how I go about sketching. So I did make a video about that, and that's where these three came from. So a lot of just rendering, um, doing values, and kind of just intaking their clothes because that's what I really like doing about like D8's fashion and stuff. And then I have two more, not two more, two doodles of one, so one of Wanu and one of Hoshi, and then a really simplified version of um, one of D8's outfits. I sure like this one of Wanu. Looks kind of cute. Uh, another ideation page, so figuring out the cover for my 17 the 8 fashion zine, but yeah, um, it's very similar to, I guess, this one, I believe. I did figure it out, so these um, don't really matter to me as much anymore. <laughs> um, so next, with, let's see, I had a commission to draw this woman's fiance I believe and she wanted him to be riding a motorcycle because I can't draw cats and initially she wanted him to be on a giant cat but um, be, me being very bad at drawing animals and not having practice drawing animals and having the time to learn it um, 
something like a motorcycle would be more up my alley, <laughs> I guess. So I did quick studies of the shapes, um, a little bit of the parts of how it would be connected. I went with this pose or composition for the bike so that I could have the one leg stick out and have it lean. Kind of similar to this as well. But yeah, just a quick study before I tackle a commission. Uh, random doodle of my OCs all together. So we have Hansuke, uh, Masaki, Koji, and Sato. Dirt page and very low effort, but just wanted to fill this page up. So Koji, Masaki, Masaki. Another draw this with me or sketch this with me video of Jonghan and just using a blue and pink pencil crayon to do the coloring for this. And I still really like it for the most part. This little derpy in some areas, but for the most part, I really like it. Uh, so I missed a big time on this page. I don't remember what I was doing that caused me to put gouache on this page. And then the gouache was something that I was not ready to tackle at the time of just being really frustrated. So I decided to take a piece of toned paper, paste it in here and do a little bit of fantasy or like my own rendition of plants that are probably not real. So a lot of these weird puffy glowy things um, with bluish green leaves. So yeah. Um, here, more ideas and concepts. So these are of Wanu. So tiny Wanu in a giant pot, planting stuff in your, like in a house plant pot. Uh, Wanu in the nature, I guess, um, with kind of lily pad leaves, kind of like plants. I'm not sure, but basically him just like at night, shining light on plants and stuff. I don't know. It was cute in my head. It looks dumb, or I guess sounds dumb when I say it. Um, and then little Wanu holding a giant leaf and saying bye. Um, Masaki doodles. Just playing around with Masaki again. I really want to do this idea still, especially when Seventeen put their teasers, not their teasers, their concept photos for Falling Flower just recently. They actually have like flowers on their faces now. So even though I did this before the teasers came out, this is something I'm very interested in. So when I saw those photos, I was like, I have to draw them. I'll do it eventually. <laughs> um, Dimitri and then Ignatz not feeling well and then another Ignatz. So Ignatz eating something horrible. So he's holding his stomach and his glasses are gone because he lost them. And then here is actually the last spread of the sketchbook, which I returned back to drawing the human version of Bombongi. So saying go 17 with a carrot bong, being really all happy. Um, him doing the, or him, it, they, I don't know how you want to refer to Bombongi, but um, them doing the fan chant, them worrying about June being sick at the time. Um, and then here we have him being cold, them being cold. I'm so sorry. I actually don't know what gender Mingyu said that Bombongi is. Um, I think he said he doesn't have a gender, but um, I keep saying him because it looks more boyish. Um, one with a banner, and then as usual, I like to put goodbye on the last page. Okay. And then, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the sketchbook. As usual, I have my swatch page, which I do prior to even attempting to draw or sketch or do any final illustrations or anything like that in a sketchbook. So I'm just gonna remove everything from this pouch. So let's see what we have in here this time. Usually I have swatches. Oh, I have a few stickers. So these are my own stickers that I keep around with me um, and occasionally use. I have a lot in here. A lot of these are ones with the like sparkles, the holographic sparkles and stuff on them. So they're really cute. Um, and then a lot of these are my swatch cards. So swatch cards for different materials I've used in the past. I haven't really referred to these in a while since I tend to just find another scrap piece of paper and do all my swatches and stuff on there. 
But yeah, I probably transfer these to my new sketchbook. So I'm probably gonna remove these as well. I probably removed them on a different day, but I usually put washi tapes and sticky notes in here just because if I'm on the go, I can paste things into my sketchbook if needed. Or if I make a mistake like I did with Sato, I can just take a sticky note um, put it in briefly, sketch on top, and then when I get back home, I can just glue it in properly, like the rest of the sides, and yeah, we're good to go. So if you guys um, somewhat enjoyed the sketchbook tour, I'm actually just happy to be done the sketchbook. I think the 8x8 is a little bit too big and intimidating for me, so I am going to be returning back to a smaller size sketchbook, which is the A5 size, I believe? So the sketchbook I've decided to go with this time is the Arteza acid-free heavyweight paper um, sketchbook. So it has 132 pages, it's 5.1 inches by 8.3 inches, and it's 118 pounds. So it's 175 um, GSM, I guess. So I'm going to take this off. I've already took a look at this paper. Um, briefly because the one reason why I kind of wanted to really dive into the sketchbook is because the paper is first a more cream color which is definitely a little bit more up my alley when I want to do sketches. I think the white is nice but I like the cream color just because it feels a little bit more old like less sterile I guess so it's more inviting for myself to want to work in the sketchbook. Hopefully you guys can see the difference. So this is something that's extremely white. And this is something that's cream. Um, but yeah, but this paper is also like fairly thick. It does have a bit of a tooth to it. So I'm interested in how the materials that I usually like to use perform in the sketchbook. So the only thing I'm gonna say is that I bought two of these sketchbooks because it came in a pack of two and it would have been cheaper to buy it like that. Um, rather than buy just one and that there is another sketchbook that I'm currently eyeing right now which is from Tricky Wagon. She has like a bunch of sketchbook designs. Now I told myself I wouldn't splurge on buying new sketchbooks um, if I don't need it but the sketchbooks that mostly I've known and like a lot of her artist friends also use like I believe the same manufacturer so I'm familiar with the paper so yeah, it's just a comfortable sketchbook to go back to, even though it might cost me my wallet. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna definitely check out the sketchbook first. And if I like it, I might work in the second Arteza sketchbook that I do have and save the other one from Tricky Wagon a little bit later because I probably am gonna buy the one from Tricky Wagon still. I'm just debating whether or not I'm gonna <laughs> go back to a square size or return back to the nice A5 size because doing spreads and stuff in an A5 is just a lot more comfortable for me. But yeah, so in the back it does have a pocket or like a flap. So I can definitely stick stuff in here. I definitely put, like I already checked out the sketchbook earlier, but I haven't done anything in it. I just put a little bit of tracing paper in here just in case if I do end up doing more graphite work and I could just paste it into my sketchbook instead of having to wait to work on the other side of the paper and spray it so things don't get transferred. So I'm gonna see if all these can fit in here. I might need to find something that will clamp this or I'll find tape. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching the sketchbook tour. I will definitely try my best to film the first page of the sketchbook and I'll definitely post it quite soon because either I'm gonna skip the first page and just start doodling in this or I'm gonna write like after I'm done filming this video I'm gonna do the first page and then post it maybe in a couple of days instead of next week um yeah um happy lunar new year's to anyone who celebrates it I believe it's new year's eve for you guys as well as myself that celebrate um lunar new year's or chinese new year's or whatever you celebrate at this time of year. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!